have to sort of decide these things, or do you want to be a political creature who was also an actor, like I've been? I was out in the beginning of the 70s, actually, as a gay man, and I just found uh, more comfort in terms of being an actor if I wasn't in this camouflage mode, if I wasn't denying who I was. Through the sort of 70s, you know, I, I was constantly, even on television, cast as a gay man because I was openly gay, and, you know, the imagination of people in television was, oh, well, he's a gay man, well, we'll cast him as a gay man, and not cast me as much else. Until we say, I have a right to express this, I have a right to be in the mainstream, I have a right as an openly gay man to play heterosexual roles, even leading man roles, unless somebody takes that stance and makes that move forward, it ain't gonna happen. I mean, we'll continue to be victimized by our own victimization and by our own image of ourselves. We have to end that stigma somehow, and I don't know how that's going to happen. I mean, I suppose it'll happen when the first leading man actor in television or film says he's gay and continues to be able to work and not lose work playing heterosexual roles. I mean, I think it's ridiculous. Acting is about acting. It's not about who you are when you go home and what you do in bed behind closed doors. And that argument is ridiculous that we're not going to believe them if we know that. That means that we, if we believe that Arnold Schwarzenegger has not, knocked off a few people at the 7-Eleven before he goes to the studio. But you have to sort of decide these things. Or do you want to be a political creature who is also an actor like I've been? Mm -hmm.